All right, let me try this video again. I went off on a rant. Uh, I saw one person actually gave a, a negative comment or a negative check mark to my uh, fat heads on parade. Some people don't like um, the truth, okay? But this video is called Under the Radar. Now you're going to say, what do you mean? Well, you could be in electronics for many years and never noticed this quirky thing about meters. Now, I think they're in the frame. I have three kinds of meters. Okay? Now, I have an old fit. Uh, whenever you test a diode, you use R times 100. That's what we were taught in tech school. And the reason you use R times 100 is it doesn't put too much current through the diode. So, if you're, t if you're testing a power diode or a little... Um, digital diode, those little orange ones with the black stripe on them, or 1N34. If you stay on um, R times 100, you won't do any damage to the diodes. That's why. That's one of the things that could have flew under your radar. In other words, you could have a modern digital meter that's junky, and you could test a 1N34 and burn it out. Or let's put it this way. It won't burn out uh, it'll lose its sensitivity, okay? A 1N34 is basically a, a germanium slab and a, 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 an arrow on it, which would be like a, a cat's whisker. It's like the old-time cat, cat's whisker, and they're used in crystal radios. And if you set up a crystal radio with a pair of clip leads, you can go through a box of diodes and find out some of the diodes give you an extra station. And... The 1N34s are germanium, so the forward voltage on a germanium is lower than a silicon diode, so it's more sensitive in a crystal radio set. Now, you can put the biggest honking diode in a crystal radio set, still get a station, if you're close enough to the station, okay? So, in a, in a, in a test mode, you could use a regular diode on a crystal radio, but you might not get any stations at all, and then when you put a... Um, a regular um, germanium diode in it, a 1N34, you will get the stations, okay? But I wanted to show you under the radar, okay? Now, i got to make a disclaimer real quick here, not for being electrocuted, but there's what you call conventional theory, uh, conventional uh, current, and electron uh, theory, okay? Now, if you pick up a, a power diode like this, okay, it's got the stripe on it. All right, now let me think about that. That's the cathode, and the anode is facing this way. So conventional current would flow this way. It would flow positive to minus, okay? But electron theory, the electrons flow from this side to this side. So now we get into meters, all right? This is the, this, this is the under the radar. You put your, your leads, your plus and your minus, into your meter, all right? In the right spot, plus into plus, minus into minus, R times 100. I read the clip leads from R times 100. All right, let's find these clip leads. They're going to be they're going to be tangled. You can guarantee. All right, now. So we know electrons. All right, we're in electron theory, not conventional electrons. If you put the minus on this side of the diode and a positive on this side you should see um, it move up, okay? And I'm looking at it. Why did it work? Okay, let's let's go back a step. Positive into positive. I don't have my glasses on. Minus into minus. Minus on this side. Positive on that. And you don't get a reading, okay? That's because this meter is the positive and the minus are perfectly work correctly except on the resistance scale. It's backwards. The minus is really positive. So what you have to do is you have to know your meter and you reverse these. See, I automatically reversed them out of habit. Okay, now it reads. Okay, hopefully you can see that needle come up. That's a dirty little secret. And what, what happened uh, is they cheapen the meter. So you measure diodes and uh, you put the, your leads in the way you think they should be in. And you go to, the, and it'll be, it'll, you, you'll go off on a tangent. And that's because maybe in the past you used, let's get this meter out of the way now. This is a, this is a Sears 
meter, but it's also a Micronto. The same company that made the Radio Shack one made, made it for Sears. It's the same meter. So be careful if you have one of those. If you ever want to really get into diodes and you have like a ring modulator or something like that, where you have to check the, the directions of the diodes and stuff like that. All right, now, this is a Simpson 260. And here's the thing that will make you nuts. Uh, minus into minus, positive into positive. We're on R times 100, and it works fine. With the switch in the positive DC position, there's also a minus. So you can check the diode like going like this. But this also reverses it when you want to take a voltage reading. Dirty little secret. Okay? And if you, you've never worked with a Simpson 260, or you've always worked with this, and go to one of the other meters, you could have a problem. Okay, you could be troubleshooting a minus voltage that's really a positive voltage. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you. You know, you got a certain meter, you get used to it, you get really good with it, and then you go somewhere and you get a different meter, and you're, you'll be fine on voltages. It's only when you're you're checking a diode, maybe on a solenoid. Uh, anytime you got a coil, when the coil the field collapses, it produces a high a high voltage spike. You have a diode across it, a quenching diode, and you may have your meter wrong, and you go to ohm it out, and uh, it doesn't read. And then you change the diode, but the diode's not actually bad. You just had the, you had the polarity wrong to check the diode. That's why uh, whenever I check something like a diode, I reverse the leads, just out of habit, to prevent some of this. Now, this, this meter here, this has a, a continuity tester. I hope you can hear it. And... It, it, it's supposed to beep on diodes and this one here uh, it reads uh, point something uh, ohms but it doesn't beep on diodes it's supposed to uh, when they're new they do and then they stop doing it okay I don't know why but I just wanted to warn you uh, the dirty little secret okay of, uh, of diodes and meters and uh, having a diode that you know that this is the this is the cathode over here. You see the, the stripe or the the line on it, and uh, you know the electrons go from this side to this side. All right, uh, um, conventional current from minus to positive. Positive flows this way. So if you put this in the circuit, your capacitor positive would go on here. I sort of use both of them in my head just to double check, because uh, when you, you get older, uh, it gets really weird the way your uh, thought process gets. And uh, like I tell you, I tend to go off on rants because I can't believe how bad things have gotten in a lot of areas. And then uh, I, I see people fixing radios on, on YouTube and it lures other people into There's so much you have to know. You can't watch a few videos and ever learn how to troubleshoot a radio. You'll, you'll, you'll see the parts that the guy's changing and you'll change the same parts. I worked with guys like that. Uh, the first day on the job, you would show them the job, and you would change a certain um, IC on the board. And when the guy would get the next board, he'd automatically change that IC, and you'd watch it. And after about a week, you realize the guy the guy wasn't troubleshooting. Uh, he was uh, what they call a shotgunning. You take a shotgun and you shoot at something, and wherever the pellet hits, you change the chip. And uh, you're sitting there, and then you go talk to the guy, and you realize he's got no clue. Uh, I told you once before, we had a guy that was sticking any kind of diode in any circuit. And uh, the boss made me go over there and said, go, go over and see what that guy's doing to these boards. And he said, a diode is a diode is a diode, like that to me. And I'm like, you're going to get laid off. You're going to get laid off. You're going to. So I went over it with him, and I said, whatever diode you change on a board, you put the exact part number, and he goes, a diode is a diode is a diode. And I said, one more time, I said, there's different kinds of diodes. They, they're different wattages. And if you put a lower wattage one in there, it's going to burn out again. The board's going to come back again. And then he said, a diode is a diode is a diode. And Friday was his last paycheck. I think that's it. All right, that's it.